Well, as you watch this story, keep in mind the climate of racial tension between communities and police across the country. And keep in mind that just last year here in Wethersfield, Anthony Vega Cruz was killed during a traffic stop at the hands of police. Back up. On Tuesday, we showed you the body camera video of an officer responding as backup to the kidnapping arrest of Pedro Contreras. Now, three new videos, including the body camera of the first officer on scene who drew his weapon. Put both hands out the window. In fact, it would, he would be in serious trouble if he didn't have his gun drawn in a felony stop. Just stay there and relax, you'll be fine. Officer Murphy radios for backup. We're starting to get a crowd, starting to get a crowd here. Bystanders approach the scene and start shouting. No one's going to get killed. Go away. Go away. Police are able to make the arrest. As the onlookers continue. Pulling the guns out that Right now, the way things are, you know this that's what's crazy. crazy. We knew but information we was explaining before we got that, here. Though. Information that Contreras walked into a business along the Silas Dean Highway to confront a man. Contreras was allegedly jealous and angry after his girlfriend had contact with the man. Contreras came in with a tire iron, confirmed from these newly obtained security camera images. He has um, a bad tire on his car, so he always has that thing in his car. In an exclusive interview with Fox 61, the victim said Contreras shouldn't be charged with kidnapping. He didn't kidnap me at all. And explained why she was crying. <laughs> Are you okay, dear? I was crying because they had the guns out. Police claim evidence shows Contreras forced the victim into his car. Forcibly kidnaps her. Uh, drags her across the front lawn and throws her into his car. And there's a lot more to this story. Coming up on the News at 5, we will show you what happened after police arrested Contreras. And we'll talk to the Hartford Police Department about if Weathersfield had the right legally to cross into their community. Reporting in Weathersfield, Matt Karen, Fox 61 News. Newly obtained dash cam video shows Pedro Contreras in handcuffs. Moments later, loaded into the back of a Weathersfield police car with a question for Officer Gonzalez. Yes, ma'am. Can I please give my girlfriend a hug? Nah, I'm man. Scared. Come on, yo. I'm going to be honest with you, bro. I can't do that for you. Contreras, who was arrested for allegedly forcing his girlfriend into his car and walking into a business with a tire iron to confront the man who she had contact with, became more upset. Come on. My baby mother, you, know, you just thought I had to take it away from me like that? How would you feel if you could take away from your baby mama her kid? Contreras then made a threatening remark to the transporting officer. I promise you, I'm not going to regret it. Okay. I'm a cop for you. Contreras arrived at booking and was being processed for intake as he told officers he doesn't hurt his girlfriend. Yo, she used to get beat. I never even see her cry once, ever. My man. That's all right, I treat her. But that doesn't jive with what police say happened at her house. Forcibly kidnaps her, uh, drags her across the front lawn and throws her into his car. Here's what the victim said in an exclusive interview with Fox 61. He didn't drag me. He just picked me up and was putting me inside his car. And that happened like a few, like three times. But after I told him, all right, come on, let's go. During the arrest, bystanders yelled at Weathersfield police to get out of Hartford. You need to go work in your district where you live at. Get the out of Hartford. You're not from here. But Weathersfield police told Hartford as a courtesy that they were in their city. You can tell Hartford to slow down. And Hartford police confirmed to us there is no jurisdictional issue with Weathersfield being there. If it's a Weathersfield investigation, and it ends up in Hartford, it leads into Hartford, they can come into Hartford, whether it's a misdemeanor or a felony investigation. Hartford police told me that they have a good working relationship with all the police departments that border them. And as for Weathersfield, well, the chief told me that they are in the process of obtaining arrest warrants for the bystanders who they say were interfering with the police investigation. Reporting in Weathersfield, Matt Karen, Fox 61 News.